Hello everybody, so today I'm reviewing Paul Blart Mall Cop 2. Yeah, we were lucky and the UK got this on Friday, America gets it on April 17th. So this is directed by Andy Fickman and written by Kevin James and Nick Bacay. The story this time is that Paul Blart gets his letter for this um, security con that's happening and everyone knows in there he's the mall cop that saved Black Friday and stuff. Goes there but it's in, this Las, Ve in Las Vegas in this hotel but why at this hotel there's some criminals there causing some trouble and Paul Blart's going to put a stop to it. So this stars Kevin James as Paul Blart again, Rena Rodriguez as Mayor, I swear that girl's not age, she looks about 14 but she's 21, uh, Danny Ella Al Alonso, um, Neil McDo, no, Duke McDo, no I don't even know his name right, David Henry, um, D.B. Winston, uh, uh, just a load of, a load of people that I'm not going to go into too much right now but there's a, there's a lot of people in this movie. Um, but you're not really going to remember much about this movie because I'm not going to talk about really characters in this movie. That I'm going to talk about the the little things that this movie does. Now let me say the good points about Paul Blart Mall Cop. That's all the good points. Paul Blart Mall Cop is a horrendous unfunny mess of a sequel. It's a horrible sequel. It feels like a straight to DVD movie. It's one of the most pointless sequels that we've had in a very long time. It's almost as bad as Dumb and Dumber 2. <sighs> Kevin James once again writes a script like with the first movie, Fat Jokes. All the time, fucking fat jokes. It's like, hey, Kevin James' character's fat. Oh, let's pick on that because that's so bloody funny. People meet him, they're like, what do you got? Do you do you, do you do you guard a Cinnabon? And then they're like, and then they just call him Fat Man. And there's a line where someone says, "Oh, I hear that overweight people have to have to make jokes and stuff to feel better about themselves." It's just like it's so fucking bullshit that Kevin James can't find something better in himself when he's writing this. He's like, "Hey, I'm fat, but I'm gonna fat shame myself through the whole fucking movie because it's just it's horrible." that the writer's done that, they're like fat jokes all the time. This movie's also sexist, it feel, it's like Kevin James is the father, but his, his daughter's meant to be 21, and she comes in the swimsuit at one point, and he's like, nope, you're not going out in that. The swimsuit's here, you're the guy sexualizing it, this is a PG. Just, this, just like, this is meant to be a family film, because it's a PG. And then there's points where this woman can, like, Kevin James thinks he's so charming and stuff, and this woman's falling for him, and it's all this bullshit, it's like, no. Stop with this. There always has to be a woman falling for Kevin James. It was in the first movie and they had to do it in this. It's just, it's not a funny comedy. It's so unfunny. I did not find myself laughing once at this. It's awkward, horrendous comedy with Kevin Jones just being over the top and stupid. There's like these two repeated scenes at the beginning where he's crying because something happens in his life and there's another thing that happens and he's like runs away in this really stupid, childish way and throughout the movie there's all these horrible things. There's also this, this horrible CGI thing where he starts shaking really fast. You can tell they sped up the scene but it looks like it's really bad CGI as well and it's just, oh my god, Paul Blart Mall Cop 2 is one of the worst comedies that I've seen in so long. One of the worst comedies I've seen in my life. I, I thought Paul Blart Mall Cop 1 was horrendous, but they upped the game and they were like, hey, let's make a sequel, but let's make it even worse than the first movie. Who actually asked for a sequel? Who was like, oh, I really like Paul Blart Mall Cop. I really want a sequel to that. Who actually asked that? Because this, this sequel adds nothing new. It's just Paul Blart, once again, instead of in a mall, he's in a hotel going against these criminals. He's in a hotel in Las Vegas. Oh, you know what we could do? If we, if we want to do this idea, if, but let's not set it in the mall. It's called Paul Blart Mall Cop 2. But actually, he's only in the mall for the first five minutes of the movie, and then the rest of the movie he's in Las Vegas. But they, they keep pointing at parts that he was in a mall and that he helped say Black Friday if you didn't see the first movie. If you're going to take your kids to see anything, just don't see this. It's, it's a PG, but it's just, it's it's a horrendous family movie. And there, there's scenes that it has its adult sexual innuendos, but it's sexual innuendos that are in a PG and it feels very awkward. There's one scene where Kevin James is like letting this ice cream trip on his face and it really, really doesn't look right. And it's disgusting to see in here. <sighs> Paul Blunt Mall Cop gets a 2 out of 10 from me. It's horrendous, it's unfunny, like I said, feels like a straight to DVD movie, and it does not deserve its place being shown in many, many theatres. Please do not bother with this, please do not bother with seeing this, 
go and see something better. So that is my review for today of Paul Blart Mall Cop 2. I hadn't done a movie rant in a while, and I just had to rant about this movie because it's horrendous. Please do not bother with it. So yeah, if you've seen Paul Blart Mall Cop 2, say that in the comments down below. If you enjoyed it, I, I just don't like stuff that Kevin James has been in. The only thing I liked him in is whole show Transylvania, where he voiced Frankenstein, and that was it. Nothing else has really been good with him in. He's just over the top and stupid, and I've never really laughed at anything that he's done. The writer also wrote the zookeeper on this. We know how great that was. Thank you very much, and I'll see you again very, very soon. Goodbye.